uh, we were on vacation. <laughs> we happened to be on a cruise. You know, we were on a cruise on a Sunday morning. We got a phone call from my daughter who was home and it was about eight in the morning. And she says, dad, there's a noise coming from somewhere in the house. I think it might be coming from the kitchen. And she woke, woke up and heard the noise. And as I'm on the phone with her, she walked in the kitchen and says, there's noise is coming from the uh, dishwasher. dishwasher and there's water everywhere. So at that point I had to go through and try to get her to shut the water off out front, but she was unsuccessful and I had to call the neighbor to come out and uh, come over and actually shut, actually the, water shut the water off out. and then turn the water off at the, at the uh, dishwasher. By that time it was a mess in here. And I had her actually go through and vacuum, get the, get shop, the uh, vac. shop vac from the garage to vacuum. So it was still It took mess. her all day. Wow. Yeah. Day we came home, kind of assessed the damage on Monday afternoon. Started calling. And then on Tuesday, we made a phone call to two different outfits, and I happened to find you guys and one of your competitors. And on Wednesday, we put two phone calls in, and the first person to call back was Allied. Uh, the other person never even bothered to call back. And uh, fortunately... <laughs> they called back like right after I already had an appointment with Jordan. <laughs> they were right. like, so can we come here? And I was like, no, you're too slow, and I don't want to deal with you now. <laughs> So that was it, and then you uh, came out and they picked up the reins and ran with it, and we're glad we, we went with them. It was like nonstop. It was no waiting and no worrying. They came in and it was like, we think you need to get this done, that done, that done. They were in, we, I met them with Jordan the, that morning and they started that afternoon. Drying out things, they already brought fans in, they were drying things, and it was like one thing right after the other. They started on a Wednesday, by Saturday they were mold testing, and well, Friday they were mold testing. Saturday we got kicked out, because there was mold. But they were done with that, we were out for a week for them to do remediation and all of that, and then boom, right after that, it was maybe another week again, and then you guys started, and it was just like, and I, I gotta say it's the people from the beginning to coming in. Um, Jordan was very helpful with the phone and Marisol, the, the remediation team came in and she was fantastic to work with. Um, very uh, communicative, knowledgeable. knowledgeable about what she was doing. Um, and at that point you're kind of thinking, okay, it's under control, it's not gonna be a mess, we're good and we're very happy with our, our choice. And it was just this thought of like, if they're starting here and everybody's knowledgeable, efficient, um, and really communicative about what's happening, it's, uh, it sets a standard of how it's gonna be all the way through. Right. The I think that's the most important thing with a situation like this is communication. Because if you don't know what's happening, you're left out kind of in the middle of nowhere and you have no idea what's happening. But they, you guys are able to send us emails about the progress, what that was done that day, what was Big done fan. that week. Your weekly progress report. Absolutely, 100%, <laughs> which makes it a lot better. <laughs> Yeah, initially we made the phone call the insurance company after that uh, you guys took over and we didn't have to deal with anything at all and that's Nothing another thing that I think was worth all of the allied package right because part of the because I I'm sure this is a concierge service this is not one of your it's probably not serve pro so we're paying for a package that's dealing with all of the pieces that we have to deal with that we now don't have to deal with. We didn't have to do any arguing. You guys were great about going back and forth, about figuring out what things are gonna get covered, which things are not. And maybe we were lucky and our insurance was probably pretty good, but I can only imagine if we were the ones that had to play telephone, the game of telephone of understanding the pieces and then also understanding the insurance. And I think that was also totally worth it because we barely got to them. Right. 10. 12. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. We if I had to do it all again, which I hope I don't, but if I had to do it all again, <laughs> it would be my first call. Yeah. And we I've already been telling people, if God forbid something like this happens, Allied is put the money in the bank. Absolutely. I have already recommended we already have. people, if, he, if anything ever happens, this is who you need to call. 100%. Just call. 
I, yeah. Just get it done, because you know what? Call I, Allied. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to say. Find a good, reputable company, um, and you're going to be prepared, be, be prepared to wait. Things don't always happen as quickly as you want them to, but find a good company who's going to be an advocate for you, and be patient, because um, that's all you can do at that point. That's all you can do. Thank you.